There was plenty at stake in the match between Lunarossa and Ineos, and if the tension surrounding this race wasn't enough, the weather was about to add to it. A shifting breeze forced the race committee to delay for almost an hour until conditions settled. Then, as racing got close, another issue. Ineos Team UK had a problem with the Cunningham, one of the key controls for the mainsail. Race committee, we would like to request a delay, please. Delay, please. Team UK, we copy that and we'll add a 15 minute delay to the start clock, making the new start time 17.15. Unable to fix it, they were forced to lock the control off, effectively losing one or more gear changes. But that didn't stop both from going flat out in the pre-start. The breeze was up, 20 knots and still shifty. As the pair came together, more hints as to how this race would shape up fast and close. At gate one, Ineos led by two seconds. By the bottom, it was nine. On the next lap, Luna Rossa had taken the lead by 19 seconds at the top and 10 at the bottom. But then things got really tight. On the last lap, Ineos were leading by just one second at gate five. On the approach to the finish, a final roll of the dice by Luna Rossa. But it was rejected by the umpires. Ineos Team UK had taken the win, five out of five, and had sealed their passage to the Prada Cup final. Oh, look, it's a great moment for the team because we've obviously had a tough start, a tough build-up to this competition, so I'm incredibly proud of everyone. That said, we know we've still got a long way to go in this road, so whilst we've got ourselves in the Prada Cup final, it's just one step along the road, and now we've got to focus on trying to win that. And then after that, the cup, so uh, one step at a time.